Zapier has long been the favorite automation tool of many, not because of its advanced capabilities, but because of the way that it simplifies automating tasks. However, things are changing. And we can see this through Zapier tables, interfaces, chatbots, agents, and soon Zapier functions. Zapier is shifting its focus towards enabling more powerful, customizable workflows. As competitors like Make and Relay.app gain more and more traction, Zapier is redefining its approach and shifting its focus towards delivering a more robust and flexible ecosystem. Hi there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated with portals, apps, and integrations. Today, we want to discuss the unreleased Zapier functions with you. This feature alongside Zapier tables for native data handling, Zapier interfaces, Zapier canvas, and recently announced Zapier customers represents a significant leap in Zapier's mission to provide a more robust platform using no-code, low-code, and coding tools. The initial buzz of no-code tools, which dominated the integration and automation landscape is gradually changing. So kudos to Zapier for meeting this demand head on. While it does seem like good news, more tools, more features, more options, more possibilities, what are the pricing implications? Zapier updated their pricing in 2024, basically adding more value to the platform. For a full dive into Zapier's most notable updates from 2024, make sure to watch the video linked above. As we can see here on the current Zapier pricing page, the add-ons are considered separate products. Now, the most certainly do different things, but how would this look in app? If we jump into a free account, we can see that we already have access to all those add-ons, including the soon to be released functions. And if we select to upgrade this free plan, we can see that all the pricing plans or tiers, those add-ons are included. The only thing that changes is the task limit and multi-step workflows, as well as the usual user and security options. I would expect this to change. However, perhaps not. Zapier is currently offering a lot of value and maybe they don't want to charge us for it. However, labeling them as add-ons and giving them a separate line item within the checkout, well, I just have to assume that one day in the future, we're going to have to pay for them. If we jump back onto the pricing page, we can see the limits of each within their respective pricing plan. Although we are missing canvas, agents, and functions. So let's talk about Zapier functions. This allows users to write and execute custom Python code directly in their workflows. Currently, we have to plug in another platform, integrate with an external API, run our own service, or just use an alternative platform. Soon, it will be done natively. So let's take a look. Now, I can't go too deeply into the functionality of functions just yet, because the amazing team at Zapier are still working on improving the feature, but we can take a look at a quick example. Let's explore a simple use case where Zapier functions can solve a common problem, categorizing expenses in a Google Sheet. So your finance team manages your company transactions in a Google Sheet like this. We've got basically transport, office supplies, and whatever. This is a super simple example. Manually categorizing these expenses takes time, it's prone to errors, and it slows down on monthly reporting. Plus, if we were to use a Zap, while it's not a super hard automation to set up, we will be including multiple steps or logical tasks. Now with Zapier functions, the trigger, whenever a new transaction is added to your Google Sheet, Zapier function kicks into action. Then the magic happens using Python. Zapier function scans the transaction description, which is just simply Uber at the moment, and assigns it a category like transport. No manual input is required and the category is instantly updated in the same row right in your Google Sheet. So here's the example script there, and we've got the trigger event. Now, something super exciting is that we can include multiple trigger events. That itself is a huge win. Let me just delete that trigger here and show you how Zapier has continued to simplify automating your workflows, making everything super intuitive. I'll just name the trigger event, then search for the app, of course, Google Sheets. And if using multiple trigger events, the trigger name is how you could reference each specific trigger. We'll look at that in a minute. The action or we'll update, boom, account symbols. The process still assists you to grab that spreadsheet, super easy. The worksheet, 
and we can run that function, fetch the data. Now this will take some time as it is the first initial run to pull through that data that is, or record. And here we can view those specific rows as well as that trigger event name value. Let me jump into the code and I'll just quickly remove this. Then from here, we'll create a super simple example. If then for the trigger values, Zapper, Zapier, trigger output, another dot, and I can access the data structure from the trigger event, including that trigger name we can see just there, but I want to reference column D. And again, I'm doing a super simple example for this video. Now, if column D is Uber, which we can see it is in our records, let me just drag that out of the way. Going to define Zapier action, search for Google Sheets or whatever application, and we want to update a row. And again, Zapier, intuitive as always, control space, select my account, then the spreadsheet, the worksheet, and then the final step, just, there we go. And our function is ready to run. From there, you can view your action logs just by selecting here. And once ready, you want to deploy this and set it live. You're also able to view your runs on the left through this side panel here. Excitingly, the versions of this, which is something that's lacking in other platforms and I absolutely love. So kudos to Zapier there. And also your accounts, packages, secrets, and settings with the ability to change the look and feel of this. Now, I will say that it is still early days for Zapier functions and it's not even available yet, nor do we have a expected release date, but the team are working hard to improve the feature and they're taking the feedback on board incredibly. So I cannot wait for this to come live. So keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for further updates on Zapier functions. Now, with Zapier function, it unlocks a new level of flexibility and power that wasn't previously possible in Zapier. So it's an exciting feature. If you need help automating parts of your business, don't hesitate to reach out to us at automationhelpers.com. Our team of experts are offering a free 30-minute consultation, so book yours today.